So maybe it's not completely indestructible, but this thing, it was hard to break it. And all we did is put a little rip in it right here. But man, we beat the snot out of it with a 10 pound sledge, dropped some wood on it, played some baseball, had a lot of fun. So while it is a canopy, you can use it for stress relief too. I'm gonna give you 10 reasons today why this is the best tractor canopy on the market. This bad boy is gonna ship in this box, can get set up on your tractor in what? The cameraman says 25 minutes. So easy to do. I'll tell you all the reasons why. In fact, I love this tractor canopy so much that I bought the company. <clears throat> what? We? <clears throat> we, the cameraman and I, my brother, bought the company a little bit over a year ago. Well, I just happened to see a MiG-28. We. Sorry, guys. We happened to see a MiG-28 do a 4G negative dive. So we overhauled the website, got it all set up so you can go right through a process and pick out the right brackets, the right hardware to get for your tractor, your ROP system. So go to tractorcanopy.com. Now, while today we're gonna install it on the Summit TX25, we've previously installed one on a John Deere 3E series, on the John Deere 1025R, on the website tractorcanopy.com. You're gonna see all sorts of pictures from different tractor makes and models out there. Point being, we're gonna fit 99.9% .9 of the ROP spars out there on tractors and zero turn mowers. If you wanna sit in your operator's seat like you're gonna sit in your tractor, just get a you know rough level of where your head's gonna be on the ROP spar. And now this part's a bit subjective up to you. Obviously you don't want it tight right in your head because you're gonna be bouncing. If you wanna get on and off the trailer, you want a little bit of wiggle room. Top of my head's right about here, you know, give or take. I wanna be about six inches up put it right in this mark here the hardware is going to mount 12 inches below that so get where your head's at in my case go six inches up for me and then take from this point go 12 inches down that's where we're going to install our hardware 12 inches down. now i'm just going to repeat i'm going to take i'm just going to pick a point got the same bracket on both sides so i'm going to take from here to where my mark's at mark it over there that way we're squared up so why did I like this company enough to buy it? Well, I'll tell you why. We got 10 reasons here that we're gonna tell you about, and you can decide if it's the canopy for you too. Everything about Rhino Hide is made in the USA. From the website, to the packaging, to the shell, to the hardware, to the tube steel, to the labor. It's all made in the USA. We are super proud to do that, and we're not gonna change. All right. Get this first bracket on here, and before we even go any further, my mark is right there. So that's the 12 inches below where we want the canopy to be. You're gonna notice you can move this up and down however you want to. So that's just kind of your starting point there. It doesn't mean you're set in stone and locked into it. So don't fret too much uh, when you make that initial mark on there and thinking it has to be, that's it. That's the permanent location for it. I could take that slow moving vehicle sign off of there, but I'm not gonna. The canopy is called Rhino Hide for a reason. It is super tough. I would put it up against any other canopy on the market as the toughest one out there. I've seen canopy damage of all kinds over the years, whether it's trailering because you just aren't supposed to trailer canopies or hitting a limb when you're trying to go under a tree. Metal canopies, the fiberglass canopies, they're expensive. They're hard to replace once you damage them. These Rhino Hides have been put through their paces. In fact, we waited for the coldest, most frigid day possible and ran it over with a 10,000 pound tractor. Nothing happened to it. The old owner, Don, he whacked it with a sledgehammer. He shot it with a shotgun. He drove over it with his truck. These things, I'm telling you, are rhino tough. And in fact, in the company's entire history, there's never been a single canopy replaced because of damage. This thing is light, all right? So not only is it tough, but it's in a light package. The entire thing shipped to you weighs 34 pounds. That includes the big old cardboard box. A lot of this hardware and steel is gonna stay mounted onto your ROPS bar. So that makes it super easy for just one person to take this canopy on and off. And that right there is our next point. It is easy on and off, and that is intentional. We know that you have reasons why you can't have a canopy on all the time. And that could be because you have super low areas maybe to go underneath. Maybe you have low overhead storage areas, or maybe you are gonna trailer it. This canopy, and in my opinion, no canopies are designed to be towed down the road. That's why we made it easy off. So you can simply turn a couple of knobs, pick it up one person, quickly take it off, get to your destination and put it back on. Good enough for now. You're gonna have two holes here. You only use the top hole. We just have the other one here, depending on how you orient 
your, uh, your brackets because you can put them in different ways to fit your machine. So always just use the top hole. Now it's nice to have it at a little bit of an, a pitch or an angle down or back one more or the other. That way, if water's pulling up on there or anything else, it has a better opportunity to roll off. I kind of like to have it face down or pitch down just a little bit, a little bit more sun protection, helps branches kind of deflect up and over that kind of thing too, but totally up to you. We like the position of our brackets all around, so we're gonna snug everything up so nothing's moving. All right, so measure's good, it visually looks good. I think we're good to go on to the next step. For all intents and purposes, this really is universal. So whether you have a tractor or a zero turn, as long as your ROPS bar, your rollover bar left to right on the outside to outside dimension is 46 inches or less, we have a canopy to fit. Installation is really easy. It is a one person job, you know, a half hour of time and simple tools you're already gonna have on hand. We also have something called a backhoe or multi-kit. So if you do have a backhoe on your tractor, you can mount that on there too. Just take the canopy off, put it over your backhoe, and you're covered there. Or if you have multiple machines and you want to be able to move one canopy to other machines that you may have, you just have to buy the hardware kit and not an entire new canopy. No matter if you have a virtually straight up and down ROPS bar, a little bit of an angle to it, or kind of that goofy John Deere forward leaning angle with a big bend right in the middle, we're gonna have the hardware to fit your needs. Something everybody loves these days is free shipping. So the entire lower 48 contiguous states, no matter which one you're in, we're gonna ship it to you, no extra cost involved. Something of more importance these days than ever before is you're supporting a small business. Between the guy behind the camera and me right in front of it, that's the entire company. And I'll tell you what, the guy behind the camera is doing the majority of the work. So if you're calling in or you're emailing in, chances are you're gonna be talking to him. He'll guide you through the selection process. But if you just drop a quick note, he can get back to you and confirm one way or another if it'll work for you or not. That's like the best looking one I've seen, I'm pretty sure. It looks like it just fits the tractor really well. Okay, so now we're just kind of lining this up. We just have four holes left to drill. Two in the front, two in the back. I'm gonna push it back pretty much tight, maybe just a hair off the ROPS bar to get as much back protection as I can. You wanna make sure your holes on these struts line up with the lower part of the rib, not the, when the rib goes up and doesn't touch, you want it to be on a mating surface there that comes down. So just make sure it lines up that way too. Something we get asked quite a bit actually is, can you add things to it if you want to? And you're more than welcome to. You can add mirrors, lights, fans, radios, all sorts of things if you want to. Feel free, just remember the more you add to it, if you want to take it back off, well, that's gonna be a little bit more work to do it and a little bit more weight too. If you're curious about the tractor we're installing this canopy on, it is the Summit TX25. We are the first to have it. We've been putting it through its paces. It's just configured differently than the other tractors on the market. It includes things that you want, but you didn't realize you needed to have. Things like a third function on the front end to operate a grapple, a rear remote to have a hydraulic top link, or maybe a hydraulic chute rotation on a snowblower, a self-leveling loader, liquid ballast in the rear tires, and take a look at those tires too, the R14 tread pattern, the premium hybrid tire that's on the market and everybody wants these days. If you want to know where to buy a Summit Tractor, make sure you check out summittractors.com. They are expanding their retailers all the time. They have a where to buy sheet, so make sure you check there often. And what you can't see is liquid ballast inside these rear tires, and that seems like an appropriate time to have a word from our sponsor. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com.
Well, I actually ended up right about exactly where I thought. What do you think? I got, I mean, this is really good coverage. I like this a lot. Alrighty, folks, so there you have it. 10 reasons why Rhino Hide is the best canopy on the market. This looks really good on this tractor, and I'm not just saying that because I own the company. It does, it looks really good. So I can't wait to put this to use. It's still winter time now, but spring is only a few days away. Summertime, fall, we're gonna have all sorts of outdoor projects. Don't forget, easily removable. Don't transport this on a trailer. It is not designed to do so. Some other videos out there may suggest that's a problem with this canopy, but there's a sticker on there for a reason that says remove it for towing. So get your tractor canopy at tractorcanopy.com. But for all other attachment needs, give us a shot at goodworkstractors.com. We include free shipping, rewards, and financing. So things like front end grapples, pallet forks, snow pushers, rototillers, brush hogs, flail mowers, the list goes on. We most likely have the solution to fit your needs. If you're obsessed with tractors and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you tag along. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.